Yellowstone USGS warning. Scientists alarm over NASA's plan to drill into the supervolcano. This is not the first time we've heard of this. NASA wants to find some way to cool down Yellowstone so that it does not erupt. This is by Callum Hoare on Express UK, today's article. Yellowstone volcano scientist Mike Poland revealed his troubling concerns during a live USGS broadcast over NASA's plan to drill into the supervolcano because it has the goal of cooling it. So the attempt would be to cool it down. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California came up with this idea. It was a bombshell plan back in 2015 to help, quote unquote, save the world from Yellowstone super eruption. The concept, in theory, would cost around $3 billion, would involve drilling into the hydrothermal system at Yellowstone National Park and attempting to cool the magma down. But USGS scientist in charge, Mike Poland, thinks this is not at all a good idea. In other words, he says, leave well enough alone. This is afraid that perhaps something could trigger off the very thing that they're trying to stop. He revealed during a Facebook Live broadcast why he thought it would be a waste of time. He said in 2018, quote, there is no plan to actually do this. It was just a plan in concept. But there is no plan to do any drilling in Yellowstone, and I can't imagine it would ever be allowed, as this is a national park. It would not have the intended effect either. It's not even a good idea, he says. Mr. Poland went on to claim the drilling could also spoil the natural beauty of Yellowstone. He said it, did not, uh, it would not have the potential drawback of affecting all of the natural features of Yellowstone. At other places in the world where geothermal wells have been drilled near geysers, it has actually muted the activity completely. So it is unlikely to happen, he says. Poland was joined during the live broadcast by deputy scientist in charge, Wendy Steele. She spoke about the effects of the supervolcano that, it, that uh, 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 what uh, effects it would have if it erupted, including, of course, the ash cloud that it would create. She said, what if there were an eruption? Well, ash would go high up into the atmosphere. It would cover a lot of areas. The super eruption has to be 1,000 cubic kilometers of ash. So just so you know, that would be enough to cover the state of Texas in five feet of ash. So that's kind of a lot, she says. The whole of Texas, which is pretty far from Yellowstone, that is, would be under five feet of ash. Can you imagine? That's why we see those ash mountains around Yellowstone, Grand Canyon, all over the place. When you take your car key and just put a line through it, it just comes apart. That's all volcanic ash. That's not the only place we see it. We see it in Canada. We see it in the Northeast. We see it in New Mexico. We even see it in Europe. And we're wondering where this all came from. It's because of volcanic activity. Now, uh, she also says closer to the park, you would see a lot of ash and planes would be grounded during a Yellowstone eruption. Dr. Michio Kaku of City College in New York, he's a renowned professor of physics. Previously, he had sent a chilling warning concerning the supervolcano, uh, referencing it to sci-fi Godzilla. He says it's not Yogi Bear that lives in the Yellowstone. He says there's a Godzilla under Yellowstone waiting to erupt. Now, he told Fox News in January, forget the image of Yogi Bear representing Yellowstone. We're talking about a sleeping Godzilla underneath Yellowstone, he said. Now, he believes that there is going to be a, well, that the eruption of Yellowstone is overdue. He's one of the, the, the few scientists that believe so. Others believe no, it's not so. Now, uh, they said that if it erupts, in a maximum eruption category 8, it will literally tear the guts out of the United States. That's what Michio Kaku says. Instead of having 50 states, we would be left with 30. Now, this report looked at a category 7, which is more likely once every thousand years, rather than once every million years. So, once every thousand years, that's not too far off. I mean, you know, uh, I mean, even that is huge. 
So he says this means that in every century there is a 10% chance that somewhere on the planet there could be a supervolcanic Category 7 eruption. There you go, it's all faithful. And you have other uh, parts of the geysers behind there as well. It's here, it's here. Even on this side here. Sometimes the camera goes after Old Faithful finishes the big spitting out. You have uh, the camera panning over to the left. And here you have some other ones here in the background as well. This one's gone. This one's up too. And you have various uh, geysers and vents and uh, fumaroles and mud pots. Um, and there are over 10,000 such geothermal ev events taking place throughout the park. Um, one of the Caldera Chronicles lately said that um, they're still locating and mapping them because they have not found them all. It's amazing. These are the world's, uh, most of the world's geysers are found here in Yellowstone. And they estimate that half the geysers in the world are here in Yellowstone. It's quite cloudy, but at least it's not snowing. It's not that foggy that we can't see anything. Um, the sun will be setting soon, so we're lucky we still have sunlight to see what's going on. Okay, now it's a little bit quiet down. Let's quiet it down. I'll leave a link below so you can enjoy this as well. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.